thought we had a good deal worked out. Y'all don't play my music and I don't play yours, so stay the fuck off my stage. Yeah. Kicks, whatever the fuck your name is, who gives a shit? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Country Cast. Jamie Johnson recently made headlines after he went off on a set of radio personalities who host local radio station known as New Country, KX96.9 out of Nebraska. And real quick, before we get to today's update surrounding this incident, here is a quick recap. Jamie Johnson headlined out in Lincoln, Nebraska at the Bourbon Theater's Lincoln on the Streets event. And just prior to Jamie Johnson taking the stage, DJs from the local radio station KX969 mentioned earlier took the stage to address the crowd, promote their station, and introduce the upcoming act, which was Jamie Johnson. As most of you know, this is not an uncommon practice as local radio stations usually have a hand in working closely with shows coming to their respective areas, but Jamie Johnson wasn't having it and made sure to let the crowd and radio station know exactly how he felt about it. As Jamie Johnson took the stage, he shared his opinion and said, there was a radio station that came out on the stage uninvited to run a little pep rally before I came out. I feel like I ought to tell you, I don't really care what radio station you listen to in the morning. They're all good. They're all good. That one ain't no better than any of the other ones. And the thing is, none of them play my music. So why should they be up on my stage talking to you? I thought we had a good deal worked out. Y'all don't play my music and I don't play yours. So stay the fuck off my stage. Kicks whatever the fuck your name is. Who gives a shit? Following Johnson's comments, several radio personalities from KX969 turned to social media, sharing their frustration surrounding Jamie's comments. Coriel Thomas wrote, What's funny, Jamie Johnson, is that you have in fact graced our signal, and I personally played it heavily during my Nebraska Nights live show, so that was pretty fucked up. But hey, whatever, right? I used to respect you. Shouldn't be surprised, though. Have a great set. Another host who goes by Jay Ponks shared, We're not perfect, but we are doing everything we can to expose our listeners to all kinds of country music, whether it's in the top 40 or not. And we take suggestions from the music fans and community on who needs their music played. We were invited there by our partner, the Bourbon Theater, and wanted to be there because we liked the music that was to be played that night, including Jamie Johnson. We were nothing but complimentary to Jamie and Blackberry Smoke and Ella Langley, and will continue to promote them. Radio personality Nick Greggath also tweeted, For the record, I don't give a shit what Jamie Johnson had to say about us. I like his music. He has an image to keep up, and if mocking us helped him out, then cool. I'll play my part. Only gripe I have, he didn't play Mowing Down the Roses or Lonesome Song. Now, Rob Kelly, who is with Alpha Media and who is the station's content creator, also provided a statement to Saving Country Music, where he had this to say. Kelly told Saving Country Music, They were personally hurt more than anything else because they're all fans. That's the worst part. Our station is kind of unique. Are we a mainstream station? Yes, we are. But we also play a lot of red dirt music. Not in a huge rotation, but we also play music that's way out of the box compared to other stations. I've probably got 400 spins on Bailey Zimmerman. I bet I've got 400 spins on Zach Bryan. Both of those songs are in medium on my playlist. We do have a corporate recommend list, but it really only comes down to about 20 songs with the hits that are happening right now. We play Aaron Watson. We play Wade Bowen. Saving Country Music also mentioned that Jamie's team did reach out uh, with an apology for Jamie's comments. You know, radio stations have been met with heat throughout the recent years for song choice and the repetitive artists and songs. And it may be that Jamie let his overall frustration uh, with radio stations focus 
in more on the radio station, which was present on this night. Guys, we would love to know your thoughts on this down below in the comments. That will be it for today's video. If you're new to CountryCast, hit that subscribe button. Turn those notifications on as well so you never miss out on any breaking updates surrounding your favorite country artist and all the news coming right out of Music City. Y'all stay country.